Sie hören eine Produktion des Podcast Imperiums. Ich bin Luke Skywalker und ihr hört Nerdizismus, der nerdige Podcast. Viel Spaß! Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Ausgabe von Nerdizismus, dem Podcast für Nerds und Cosplayer. Mein Name ist Chris und mit mir dabei Nerdizist Michael. Hallo. Hallihallo. In der heutigen Interviewfolge haben wir jemanden zu Gast, der mir, also da hätte ich auch nicht gedacht, dass ich den mal persönlich treffe und das war dann doch für mich wirklich ein tolles Erlebnis und es war wirklich sehr unerwartet. Und wenn ich euch jetzt den Namen sage, dann werdet ihr wahrscheinlich und äh, Michael Dickens, glaube ich, ähnlich auch erstmal gesagt haben, so, was, wer ist das? Wir hatten mich bei uns auf der Comic-Con in der Streaming-Box Henry Thomas zu Gast. Hast du mhm. auf dem Schirm gehabt, wer Henry Thomas ist? Also hättest du mir den Namen so gesagt, hätte ich es nicht mitbekommen. Die Sache ist, der war ja vor ein paar, ein paar Wochen vorher schon wieder in den Medien drin, weil, wer ist er nämlich? Der kleine Junge aus E.T. Richtig. Und für E.T. haben sie nämlich im Ferris Bueller-Style eine Werbung gemacht, die dann auch 30 Jahre später gespielt hat, wo er dann den Vater von einem Jungen spielt oder den Erwachsenen Elliot, wo E.T. auftaucht und dann mit seiner Familie anbändelt. Ganz genau. Und er hat noch in einer Netflix-Serie mitgespielt, nämlich in einer Gruselserie, nämlich Spuk in Hill House, die ich persönlich ziemlich klasse fand. Und ich muss ganz ehrlich sagen, dieses Gespräch hat eine eher sehr, sehr interessante Wendung genommen, die ich so nicht erwartet hätte. Und ich glaube, da hören wir jetzt mal rein. Ja, willkommen zurück, wieder hier aus der Streamingbox von der Comic-Con in Dortmund. Ich bin Nerdizis Chris, mit mir dabei ist Nerdizis Michael. Und wir haben jetzt einen zweiten Stargast heute hier, nämlich... Have a big hand for Henry Thomas. Hey! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, first time Comic Con uh, in Germany here? Yes, first uh, first German uh, convention. All right. Yeah. All right. And it's uh, it's a quite large convention. Yeah. 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 So, have you been on conventions before? I have uh, in America. Yeah. yeah. And one in Manchester, England. And yeah. Yeah, but this is my this is my first. Uh, European convention. So because we're here on a German uh, comic convention with a lot of nerds, a lot of <laughs> nerd stuff, we always ask our guests uh, how they would rate themselves in a nerd scale, nerd rating from 1 to 10. One to 10, 10 is the highest. I would give myself a 7. A 7? Yeah. In overall nerd topics, like sci-fi and stuff? Overall nerd yeah. topics, yeah. Is there a topic where you're a specialist in? Like yes. I'm um, I'm a specialist in uh, medieval history, especially the 15th right. century. Yeah. yeah. So the real stuff, not Game of Thrones. Not the Game of Thrones, <laughs> but the real stuff. And I'm I, I get very nerdy with the facts. Really, and, you get yeah. you get angry when you see uh, knights with horns like this and bracelets and this and uh, so I, on. I, I get that real. I get angry when I see people wearing swords on their back. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But but uh, I, I learned from from a movie maker that this is just for 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 movie purposes because yeah. it's, it's much more easy. I get it's it's always on the same spot. It doesn't uh, wobble around and all this for for, for filming purposes. It's yeah. much more easier and of course it looks much cooler. But in practically, it's it's not. But you can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you do you do you dress up, go to a lab or something? Do you have a, no. a, a, a range of medieval swords or, or armor yes. at home? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, yeah. I uh, for for some time I I jousted and uh, really and did historical sword combat. So so I understand. Really, really like this is uh, you have the sword in the hand and it may just. Batch, not like in the movies. Yeah, you swing it around <laughs> and you swing it in the air and stuff. No, no, it's very, it's, uh, it's a, it's a martial art when yeah. you look at it in a historical sense. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it was a system that worked on the battlefield for a few hundred years anyway before firearms and technology took over. Yeah. And you really do jousting on a horse? Yes, I did in full that's armor. That, that's impressive. 
Yeah, I was some kind of, of, of education as a stuntman, or how do you how do you come to this? I, I, I know these medieval stunt shows, yes, but yeah, no, I I had a friend that uh, was a professional jouster. He okay uh, would travel to England to the armory at Leeds and do jousting demonstrations, and I helped him train. Um, All right, because I I grew up riding horses, so that part was easy, but. Uh, having the full harness on and limited vision it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's strange I mean it, it was definitely a specialized all right, all right. thing yeah. I mean I can, Im I can imagine I, have, I do sometimes do cosplay with a stormtrooper armor oh, right. so, and now I know why they don't hit any rebels because the, the vision is very limited yes. you know you don't see anything so how do you aim with your uh, what is it lance is it an yeah, a lance, lance. Yes, yeah. yes yes yeah. Uh, well, you can't you can't see anything below here, uh, so really you can see the lands come across, and you can see the horse's ears. Yeah. But everything else is. Uh, and is it hard not to hit the horse? Mm, it's pretty easy not pretty, to hit the okay, horse. Okay. Uh, you have to hit anything, right? <laughs> anything but the horse. Yeah, anything but the horse. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it has. Uh, it's it's a very specialized thing and it, it takes some practice yeah. for sure and we have in uh, Düsseldorf we have every summer something like a medieval festival yes and they do jousting there and like a demonstrate demonstration in the whole armor and I always say oh man it's in summer in the heat yeah and they can't really stand it for longer than I mean half an hour or so right yeah. well it makes sense but in the in the medieval times like they they were usually fighting in the spring or the summer so yeah. it was uh, Pretty accurate. <laughs> so would you like, would you like to, to, to star in, in a medieval film or would you say, uh, I don't know, it's too unrealistic. Yeah, I, would, I, would, I would nitpicking here and there. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> that's the hard thing is uh, it, whenever you make a film, accuracy kind of goes no, in the back seat. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I would like to be yeah. in something like that. It would yeah, be fun. Really? Yeah, really. Yeah. Love to see you there. I saw you last year in um, uh, this uh, horror Netflix show. Yes, Haunting and, of Hill House. Yes, and damn, it scared the hell out of me. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah glad. really. Um, um, uh, first of all, uh, it's a no, rehash of Haunted Hill House stuff, but then really, such uh, goosebumps, really, but without any cheap jump scares, you know. But yeah. really, how do you? How did you achieve this? Um, I, I saw a, a making of video where, where they were telling that. Um, there was always something going on which the viewers on a subconscious level is... Can you tell something about that? Well, it, it mostly has to do with uh, Mike Flanagan who created the show and directed every episode. Yep. He, he wrote every episode. He is uh, a, a very good filmmaker, first of all, but he's also a very, uh, a, a very avid fan of horror. And he was an editor for years, so he doesn't like cheap scares, yeah. Yeah. and he likes uh, interesting characters, and so it was a lot of fun because as actors, we were able to do what you usually aren't able to do in horror, which is build an amazing character yes. that isn't completely ripped apart yeah, in yeah, the yeah, third yeah, act. Yeah, yeah. Not the uh, typical cliche teenage lover couple goes in the backyard and then get killed and so on. Yeah. Right, yeah. and uh, so as, as an actor it was fun and it was rewarding and we were able to create rich characters and I think the audiences really liked that aspect of the series uh, which was great because uh, you know I never feel like I'm. I don't sign on to make a genre yeah. picture. You know, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I just try to make the best of what we have, and and uh, I think being able to do that with with good character development and and good filmmaking is uh, it's a treat. Yeah. How is it with a, a scary movie or a scary TV show when you're on set? It's boring. Do, do, do you feel it's no, boring? No, it's yeah. boring. It's like yeah. watching paint dry because <laughs> you know, it's it's more like a comedy on yeah. set. Like you laugh a lot. Uh, yeah. Can you seriously watch it after uh, you filmed it? I mean, is it still scary for you, or do you say, mm. "Oh no, we made this and we made this and yeah. we made this"? Yeah, you you do. I mean, some of it is lost, but 
the jump scares, I some of them. I think yeah, there's yeah, like yeah, three, yeah, three, three jump scares yeah, 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 yeah. or four. Yeah, they they got me. They got you. They got yeah. me because I I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. What uh, what what kind of shows are you into? Yeah. So this was a Netflix show. So. Um, do you have time on a weekend to binge something? Did you ever yes. binge anything? What was it? Yes, uh, I've binged a lot. I've, I've binged Boardwalk Empire, uh, Peaky Blinders. Uh, what uh, what else have I watched recently? Oh, have you seen The Irishman yet? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. No, yes. but I'm. Uh, it's on the list. Yeah, yeah, oh, mine too. Yeah, <laughs> I started. It's it's so long. We went to London last weekend, and I started on the on the fly uh, to London. It's uh, 90 minutes, and I started um, I went on on the 90 minutes back, and I haven't finished it yet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can watch yeah. it on a tiny screen. Really, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's published on Netflix. It's so much it's so easy. You have to live yeah. with it, and I watch it with, <laughs> with rubbish earphones. Yes, and then on a little tiny screen okay but um, uh, would you ever uh, you know you have this de-aging effects with the with the stars would you do a de-aging effect on yourself would you allow that <laughs> uh, ET2 <laughs> and then going back to the lang alley no. and you're again <laughs> no I would it, it sounds like too much work <laughs> <laughs> to be honest yeah so the, the video you made uh, uh, a few weeks back. Yes. This was not de aging, this was real you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that was great because I think I think two minutes of revisiting E. T. is perfect. Yeah. Two hours of revisiting E. T. then there's <laughs> too much uh, there's too much left to chance. Did you feel like the magic again on set or a little bit, just because uh, it, it brought back some memories. Yeah. And the atmosphere was very similar to 1981, yeah. you know, it, it, it uh, but the creature, the puppet that they used. It was still a puppet, right? It was still a puppet, yeah. but technology today versus 1981, uh, yeah. the, the, <laughs> the puppet was so much easier to work with. You know? Oh, have you seen the Dark Crystal series? Yes, Netflix? yes. This was amazing, right? Yeah, amazing, yeah. Yeah. yeah I and. And I think it's great that uh, puppetry still has a place in in film uh, because there's something much more interesting about that than CGI. I mm -hmm. think going back to ET um, because you are approximately my age. I'm 42, and you're 44, 45. You yes. don't have to tell. <laughs> actors don't tell. <laughs> but we are approximately the same age. So I I'm, can't really hide I, my age. I, I, yeah, yeah, I watched you as a kid when you were approximately my. And I always wondered, how was it going back to school as being that famous kid on screen? Yeah, it wasn't fun. Yeah, it wasn't fun. No, it wasn't fun. It was fun for about... Jealousy? A, it was fun for about two days. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I went from being very obscure, uh, some strange kid that nobody yeah. really talked to that yeah, much, yeah. to being, uh, you know, a very... Uh, very well known, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, there was a lot of you know kids yeah. in school. So, so and, and and how do they did they, 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 they how do they pay a kid? I was in my world as when I was a kid, must have had all the ET toys possible. Did they pay you? Of course, they pay you some money. But did did you all get the merchandise? ET mm. was so big stuff. Or, well, they didn't have any merchandising ah, okay. uh, originally because Universal. Uh, thought that the film wasn't going to be very successful. Really? Okay. Yeah, because it was uh, it was a kids movie in their mind. Mm -hmm. Kids movies didn't make that much money. Yeah. It was also about an alien uh, who was nice. All of the alien films up until that point, the alien was evil. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, and they thought that audiences wouldn't respond. So they didn't market any toys. And the only way that the marketing started was uh, there was a plane that landed in JFK airport from Asia that was full of ET merchandise <laughs> that had just been pirated and created in yeah, Asia somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. and sent to New York uh, by some company. All right. All right. And the customs officials 
called Kathleen Kennedy, the producer, yeah. and said, yes, we have uh, an airplane here with <laughs> all of your merchandise yeah. on it. Are you going to pay for this? Yeah. Yes, we will, and, <laughs> and that was the uh, that was the birth of the of the the famous doll, yeah. the yes, tea yes. doll that I, everyone I had. By myself. Yes. And of course, there was when you go to to these carnival fairs, uh, there was crowded with rip-offs, of cheap yes. rip-offs of merchandise of of ET puppets. And right, stuff. because there were no official. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, other times than today, where your social media and the merch is out two days after the movie, or two days before the movie, two yeah. weeks before the movie. So I, I guess you can a little bit be thankful that there was no social media back then? In some ways, yeah. I, I don't know how that would have changed uh, things. But social media definitely is, uh, is very much a tool today, right, for publicity. So, so, for every guest we yes, have yes. here, we have a little gift. Because I mean, we it's know, Christmas because, time, something Because like we that. know Americans do love two things, oh. German candy or, and or German booze. So, it's true. Um, uh, beer would be a little bit much to store here. It might have been too much. Yeah, yes. so we, we, um, you can choose whether we pack you full with Haribo's or you go with this um, uh, what is uh, this? liquor. Um, Kal can yeah. it try it <laughs> okay so, so, can, can I have one of yes, each yes 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 you can have one of each you can okay. have one of each because Haribo marked kinder from yeah yes okay perfect so um, how do you know that the, the, the German uh, slogan of this is it, is it in English to say do they do they advertise with a German slogan or yeah, they just write it on the okay so okay, <laughs> thank you Captain Obvious <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> we get the, they don't change the packaging. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we have one more thing. One uh, more thing. We had we had one more thing. We had uh, Nick Carter before here. He sang for oh, us yes. something, and uh, we try today for every guest we have here to sing a little bit of a German Christmas carol. Like oh. you know, Oh Christmas Tree, the song. Yeah. Oh Christmas yes. Tree. Yeah. And I have here the German lyrics. Okay. So. Um, I guess you're in the second chorus? Yeah, you can start with this one, or you can just start Du grillst dich nur zu Sommerzeit Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, let's do this So, okay Two, three, one Du grillst nicht nur zu Sommerzeit Nein, auch im Winter, wenn es schneit Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum Wie zu sind Deine Platte. Perfect, yeah. great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks. So, <laughs> have a rest and an enjoyable con weekend. Yes, and a pleasant trip home. Okay. I hope we see each other walking around, but maybe yes. next, next time again. Thank, Thank you. you. It's been a pleasure. Me too. Me Thank too. you Thank Thank very much. Eine Produktion des Podcast Imperiums.